two of the divine feminines. Hello, sacred spiritual healer here. Just giving some messages to the divine, divine feminines from divine masculines. I know we don't usually do these messages on the channel, but I've been drawn to a couple, um, some masculines and some feminines that wanted to pass messages. So we have uploading these readings for that purpose. Okay, divine masculines. Messages for the divine masculine to divine feminine. Oops. Overall energy for the divine masculine that wants to pass on the message to the divine feminine. The energy, the message that the divine masculine wants to pass on to the divine feminine. What was the message that the divine masculine wants to pass to the divine feminine? What was the message? Thank you. So divine feminines, they want you to be strong and they know that um, they are trying to be strong and be courageous. They're trying to have the courage to come to you. They're being receiving the messages from the divine and they are being enlightened now. And they're trying to come out of their emotions and the dark energy to move forward towards you. They know that you are strong and they... They are embarrassed that they are not as strong as you. That they want to be as stable and earth grounded as you are with the white buffalo energy. Um, they have received the messages from the divine like lightning bolts hit them recently. They're uh, in their emotions. They're the, the water card or earth card here is um, they know that they have been stubborn in this uh, connection and not giving up. They're earthly, um, wanting to, to, they're earth, not materialistic, earthly materials, their earthliness, <laughs> that's what I'm getting, like a materialistic is really the overall term, that's just not what's coming out though, but they want you to know that they see you as a butterfly, that they know that you have just emerged in this beautiful, from this, not, that they just see you as a beautiful fluttering butterfly and that you are in the higher spirit and hope that they are worthy of you. That they, I feel like the a very humbling energy from these car, from them. Um, but they, they want you to know that they just are in awe of your beauty, of the glow that you, um, and the work and your courage. They're in awe of you. They know that you are the star. Let's get a few cards for other energy reading uh, messages. And we'll go on to the angel messages. Divine masculine, what else do you want me to tell the feminines? Your divine feminine, what else would you like me to tell your divine feminine? Divine masculine, what else would you want me to tell the divine feminines? What messages were you trying to get to the divine feminine? These are the same cards that came out for the <laughs> um, feminines to the masculine. Funny, that just goes to show you how much we mirror each other in the way we love and the way we think of, of one another because we are one soul. Alright, so they know that they've been stubborn in this, but they are very passionate and they are holding to the belief of having you eventually. Um, they are being, uh, they are, uh, have uprooted their belief systems and they're trying to stand, sit, stand their ground with their fist on the bowl here. Being, um, they know that they've been stubborn about this, but they do want you to know they are, just have a very burning passion for you and, um, are holding on strongly to the growth, um, the, like the nuts and bolts of this, the, the grounding energy that you have built, Divine Feminine. They want to be your King of Wands. They want to come with communication. They hope that you are accepting of them. They are 
trying to be confident and they do hear your messages um, in the tele telepathic messages thank you currently they do feel a little trapped they know that you too um, feel trapped um, with this connection trying to come together that that burning passion is there that your hands are tied sometimes because both could have been stubborn in the past because of energies that haven't been healed because of inner wounds or emotions that needed to be healed before they could come forward but they are trying to see the way out of this they are watching this flame this connection as they leave behind things that no longer serve them the karmic is there but they uh, in their some you know not present with them but still enough that they need to protect you they feel they need to protect you from the karmic they need to protect you from these things that are still underlying those energies with having that relationship so they are protecting and watching this connection this flame passionately but having to carry the things that could harm you away from you they're building their pentacles or trying to save what they can so that they don't lose everything so that they can have a stable beginning with you what else would you like um, divine masculine please forgive me I'm so sorry he's embarrassed that you are the strong one that you have more courage than he does he's crying crying for you because he misses you he thanks you for geez. he thanks you for standing by the flame really upset this is a divine spiritual journey with yourself first he wants you to take care of yourself do no harm he didn't mean to harm you spirit wants you to bandage and activate your chakras He's trying to protect you from the karmic. Practice the telepathy with your twin. He hears you and he hopes you hear his messages because he's trying to reach you. He knows he has a lot of healing to do from ancestral, generational, um, past life traumas and he's working on those and he hopes you'll be patient with him. But he wants you to love yourself as much as he loves you. I smell cigarettes. And I don't smoke, so I don't know how I smell anything right now. That was emotional. Maybe a different spirit is in it. And perhaps someone smokes if one of your DFs smoke get into mission just do it if you've been asking a question the answer is no and to remember what you believe you create okay divine masculine the angel cards what messages from the angel cards would you like to give your divine feminine what messages from the angel cards would you like to give your divine ma feminine of diet nutrition pay attention to what you eat and drink you intuitively know what is good for you 
So basically, take care of yourself. Oops. I can have a cigarette. Did you have a message? spirit that's saying no he's just watching <laughs> and another one just wants to pass on that he loves her and he hears her and he's coming for you to don't, to don't give up, to not give up. What you believe you create, no one can harm you. God of conflict resolution, you are being encouraged to walk away from a current conflict. I think we had that in the daily reading for the masculines. A man, no, <laughs> a new character of your life is around a new chapter of your life is around the corner. Remove fear and embrace the unknown. Yes. A new transformation. Okay, I'm going to use these because I used them for the Divine Feminine messages to the Masculine. So Divine Masculines, what message would you like out of the Shaman deck to give to the Divine Feminines? What messages would you like to give to the Feminines? has been loving unconditionally he loves you he's in awe of you your beauty he hopes that he's worthy of your love he will climb to the mountains he'll fight for this feel like they've been run over by the buffalo. They feel the storm. They feel like their whole life has been uprooted and they still feel like the love for you is worth the, everything that they've had to go through. It's an 11 card. How perfect. Not this. They wouldn't be perfect, right? In a 1 card. Ancient ones. Ancient ones want you to know that they are here with both of you, the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminines. The ancient ones are here nurturing and bringing this connection together because it's in the highest good of both souls, the soul. In the highest good of the soul for both persons and for the earth. For, so your ancient ones are near you, both. That's from the Spirit. <laughs> He likes to watch you dance. Ah, <laughs> uh, six. It's an eight card. This is Wild Woman, but he says he likes to watch you dance. And when no one's looking, so perhaps some of you dance at your house, dance in the, when you're cleaning house or doing things. 
when you're looking to the sky, when you're out in nature, he he likes to. Perhaps he's astral traveling and seeing you. Yes. He says in his mind he sees you when you're dancing in nature and dancing at your house. In the way the birds fly, whatever. In the way the bird flies. Something about that. But he knows your heart is uh, passionately um, turned the, this connection and he feels like he's turned your heart inside out and he's sorry for the pain he's caused regarding other um, things. A lot with this card. He sees you. He hears you. In the wind and in the trees. When he's in nature, he thinks of you. Okay. And again, more cigarettes. Like... Maybe he left. All right. This is what we have for you, divine feminists from the masculine. Have a blessed day.